Would you like to know how you can stream right to Twitch straight from your Xbox One and do it in 1080p? Well, stick around because I've got you covered. Welcome back, everybody. It is Papa Crunk here, aka Crunk, and welcome to another streaming tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can stream straight from your Xbox right to Twitch and do it in 1080p. But before we get started, please make sure to give this video a like and also drop a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you thought about this video. If you found it to be funny, educational, informative, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that notification bell. So this way, every time I upload a new video, you can get notified. So the reason that I decided to make this video in particular is because um, for those of you that don't know, I used to stream on Mixer. I was a Mixer streamer for three years. And now as of July 22nd, 2020, uh, Mixer is no longer in existence. But during my time there, I got to meet a lot of fantastic people. And many of these people, streamers um, that I call friends, stream straight from their Xbox. Um, so they didn't have a capture card or they didn't have a fancy computer that uh, most most the average streamer does uh, They just stream straight from their Xbox and plus there are plenty of other people out there that will love to stream directly from their Xbox right to Twitch Yet they just don't know how well I've got you covered because this video is going to show you how and this is how you do it So the most important thing in order to make this work is you're going to need to install the Twitch app directly onto your Xbox console. And to do that, all you gotta do is access your Xbox store, go down into the search bar, type in Twitch in the search until you find the Twitch app. And then once you get to the app, all you're gonna need to do is install it onto your hard drive. Now, once your Xbox has successfully installed the Twitch app onto your console, all you gotta do is hit the launch button and it will take you right into the Twitch app. And now that you're up on your uh, Twitch app inside your Xbox console, all you gotta simply do is go over to the sign in button, click the sign in, and you will be given an eight digit code that you will need to enter in at www.twitch.tv slash activate on a mobile device or your computer and this will link your xbox console to your twitch account and now that you're on the twitch.tv slash activate web page just go ahead and enter in your eight digit code uh, in the box provided and then click activate and this will link your account uh, with Twitch to your Xbox. And once you have successfully linked your Twitch account to your Xbox on your Xbox, you will be redirected right back to your Twitch home screen. And from here you have access to your Twitch home screen. You can browse games and then right next to that is the broadcast button so if you want to go live all you got to do is click the broadcast button and once you're in the broadcast section here you'll be able to customize your stream you'll be able to go down you can name your stream whatever you like um, your game title will actually automatically appear for you once you uh, launch the stream uh, you can choose your language by default it is English um, of what you had originally set up your Xbox account but you can change that to whatever you like you can also change your stream resolution at this point the default is 720 but if you click it you have the ability to go to 1080p this is where you get your 1080p setting and then you have the option to extend your bitrate. By default, it's 1500. I recommend that you click the automatic button. This way your Xbox can do a broadcast quality test and it's going to check your internet bandwidth. Uh, so this way you can get the ex best experience for you and your viewers. Once the test comes back, mine came back at 6500, so it's maxed out. Uh, your Xbox is set up and ready to go. 
One of the beautiful things about this is you have the ability to change your audio settings uh, between your microphone, your party chat, and your game. So once you're actually in the game, you can change your microphone setting. So this way you can speak louder than your party chat, or if you want to mute your party chat, you can do that as well. If your game is just too loud, you can then lower the game volume. You can also customize the bar position of where you want uh, the notification on your screen. And then if you have a camera attached, you can also customize where you want your camera positioned. Once you have your settings all set up and ready in place, all you got to do is click the start streaming button and you will automatically be live on Twitch. And just to do my due diligence for this video, I am going to actually start up my own stream so this way you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So in the background, I do have Apex Legends, the game already set up and ready to go. So if we go back to our Twitch broadcasting page and once all of our settings are all set up, we will go ahead and click start streaming and it's just as simple as that all then you would need to do is go back to your game mode and as you can see at the bottom right hand corner i do have my broadcast bar right now my microphone is muted i've been live for zero minutes and currently there's no viewers but as you start streaming and you start gaining some viewers those numbers will go up and then there you have it your stream is up and ready to go so if we head over to our uh, twitch home page you will see that your stream is live and ready to go you can communicate with your chat and you are live and ready to entertain your viewers and once you are done streaming for the day and you want to call it all you have to do is go back into your twitch broadcasting page and simply click stop streaming and there you have it. it is simple as one two three And there you have it everyone that is how you can stream from your Xbox straight to twitch and it's easy as one two three So all you have to do is remember to download the twitch app onto your Xbox console And then you have to link your Xbox to your twitch account and then set up your broadcast settings and you are ready to go Now just a couple things to bear in mind is that when you stream using this method uh, you will only be streaming your gameplay if you have a camera set up you can stream your camera and then of course all your audio your mic and your party chat and your uh, game audio now if you want to use so unfortunately when you stream using this method you do not have uh, the fancy overlays or the really cool alerts like your followers and your hosts and your bits and your donos and things like that you would need a third-party broadcasting software like OBS or Streamlabs OBS or XSplit. Now, unfortunately for them, you do need a capture card so that way you can capture your Xbox gameplay. Now, on Mixer, there was a website uh, made by the developers called Lightstream that was made for Mixer streamers from their Xbox that will allow you to add your overlays and fancy alerts. Now, because of the Mixer shutdown, they have committed to integrating that so that way you can still use their services on Twitch and Facebook and YouTube. So I will leave a link in the description down below so that way you can go check them out and you can see everything that they have to offer and get up on all their updates. And this way, if they can help you out and make you look a better uh, on your stream, more professional, it will help your brand. This way you can stream straight from your Xbox to Twitch looking professional. And there you have it folks i hope that you found this video to be informational and educational and for those of you out there that want to stream native from your xbox right to twitch uh, i hope that this video helped you out in many ways if so please drop a comment in the section down below also leave me your twitch links i want to go check you guys out and give you some support along the way so make sure you leave those links down below because i want to help you guys out and Remember, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so this way every time that I upload a new video, you guys can get notified. And as always, my friends, play more games and get crunked tonight.